Terence Hardy Terry Waite, CBE is an English humanitarian and author. Waite was the assistant for Anglican Communion Affairs for the then Archbishop of Canterbury, Robert Runcie, in the 1980s. As an envoy for the Church of England, he travelled to Lebanon to try to secure the release of four hostages, including the journalist John McCarthy. He was himself kidnapped and held captive from 1987 to 1991. He is president of the charity Y Care International and patron of Able Child Africa and Habitat for Humanity Great Britain. He is also president of Emos UK, a charity for formerly homeless people. Early life, the son of a village policeman in style, Cheshire, Waite was educated at Stockton Heath County Secondary School where he became head boy. Although his parents were only nominally religious, he showed a commitment to Christianity from an early age and later became a Quaker and an Anglican. Early career, Waite joined the Grenadier Guards at Caterham Barracks, but an allergy to a dye in the uniform obliged him to depart after a few months. He then considered a monastic life, but instead joined the Church Army, a social welfare organization of the Anglican Church modeled on the Salvation Army, undergoing training and studies in London. While he was held captive in the 1980s, many church army officers wore a simple badge with a letter H on it, to remind people that one of their members was still a hostage and was being supported in prayer daily by them and many others. In 1963, Waite was appointed education advisor to the Anglican Bishop of Bristol, Oliver Tompkins, and assisted with Tompkins's implementation of the SALT program in the diocese, along with the Erevd canon Basil Moss. This position required Waite to master psychological tea group methods, with the aim of promoting increased active involvement from the laity. During this time he married Helen Frances Waters. As a student, Waite was greatly influenced by the teachings of the REVD Ralph Baldry. In 1969, he moved to Uganda where he worked as provincial training advisor to Eric Sabati, the first African Anglican Archbishop of Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi and, in that capacity, travelled extensively throughout East Africa. Together with his wife and their four children, Waite witnessed the Idi Amin coup in Uganda, he and his wife narrowly escaping death on several occasions. From his office in Kampala, Waite founded the Southern Sudan Project and was responsible for developing aid and development programs for this war-torn region. His next post was in Rome where, from 1972, he worked as an international consultant to the Medical Missions Sisters, a Roman Catholic order seeking to adapt to the leadership reforms of Vatican II. From this base, he traveled extensively throughout Asia, Africa, the Americas and Europe, conducting and advising on programs concerned with institutional change and development, intercultural relations, group and intergroup dynamics and a broad range of development issues connected with health and education. Archbishop Special Envoy, Waite returned to the UK in 1978, where he took a job with the British Council of Churches. In 1980, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Robert Runcie, appointed him the Archbishop of Canterbury's assistant for Anglican Communion Affairs on the recommendation of Tompkins and Bishop John Howe. Based at Lambeth Palace, Waite again travelled extensively throughout the world and had a responsibility for the Archbishop of Euro unregistered trademark s diplomatic and ecclesiastical exchanges. He arranged and travelled with the Archbishop on the first ever visit of an Archbishop of Canterbury to China and had responsibility for travels to Australia, New Zealand, Burma, the United States, Canada, the Caribbean and South Africa. Equals hostage negotiator equals, in 1980. Waite successfully negotiated the release of several hostages in Iran, the REVD Iraj Motoidi, Dmitry Bellows, the REVD Nosrat Sharifian, Fazili, Jean Waddell, Canon John Coleman, and Coleman's wife. On November 10, 1984, he negotiated with Colonel Gaddafi for the release of the four remaining British hostages held in the Libyan hostage situation, Michael Badina, Alan Russell, Malcolm Anderson and Robin Plummer and was again successful. From 1985, Waite became involved in hostage negotiation in Lebanon, and he assisted in successful negotiations which secured the release of Lawrence Jenko and David Jacobson. His use of an American helicopter to travel secretly between Cyprus and Lebanon and his appearance with Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North, however, 
meant that he was compromised when the Irangate scandal broke. Against advice, Waite felt a need to demonstrate his continuing trust and integrity, and his commitment to the remaining hostages. He arrived in Beirut on January 12, 1987 with the intention of negotiating with the Islamic Jihad organization, which was holding the men. On January 20, 1987, he agreed to meet the captors of the hostages as he was promised safe conduct to visit the hostages, who, he was told, were ill. The group broke trust and took him hostage on January 20, 1987. Waite remained in captivity for 1,763 days, the first four years of which were spent in solitary confinement. He was finally released on November 18, 1991. Release and after, following his release he was elected a fellow commoner at Trinity Hall, Cambridge, UK, where he wrote his first book, Taken on Trust, an account of his captivity in Lebanon. It quickly became a bestseller in the UK and internationally. Waite decided to devote himself to study, writing, lecturing and humanitarian activities. His second book, Footfalls in Memory, a further meditation on his captivity in Lebanon, was published in the UK in 1995 and also became a bestseller. His latest book, published in October 2000, Travels with a Primate, is a humorous account of his journeys with his former boss, Robert Runcy. Waite has also contributed articles to many journals and periodicals, ranging from Reader's Digest to the Kipling Journal, and has also supplied articles and forewords to many books. In January 1996, Waite became patron of the Warrington Male Voice Choir in recognition of the humanitarian role adopted by the choir following the Warrington bomb attacks. Since then, he has appeared with the choir for performances in prisons in UK and Ireland to assist in rehabilitation programs. Prison concerts have become a regular feature of the Kawira Euro unregistered trademark S Christmas activities. He is also a co founder of Y Care International, a development agency linked to the YMCA movement. Recently, he founded Hostage UK, an organization designed to give support to hostage families. He is also president of Emos UK and patron of the Romanese Society. On March 31, 2007, Waite offered to travel to Iran to negotiate with those holding British sailors and marines seized by Iran in disputed waters on March 23, 2007. Faith Perspective Waite has a particular regard for Eastern Orthodoxy and the writings of C. G. Jung. In 2008, he joined the Religious Society of Friends or Quakers. Waite returned to Beirut in December 2012 to reconcile with his captors and later rest the ghosts of the past. In popular culture, Waite was the subject of a 1986 song by the British post-punk group The Fall, Terry Waites's, which was included on their album Ben Sinister. Waite was brought up in the song Buenos Aires 90 by the British group The Mac Lads. Waite was also mentioned in the 2009 Christmas special of the British comedy The Royal Family. The character Reverend Christopher Smythe, the Dean of Bailey College, Oxford, in the Yes. Prime Minister episode The Bishop's Gambit, bears a marked resemblance to Terry Waite, who at the time of the episode a Euro Unregistered Trademark S broadcast was the Archbishop of Canterbury a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Special Envoy during the Lebanon hostage crisis. Awards and Honours In 1992, Waite received the Four Freedoms Award for the Freedom of Worship. In 1992, Durham University made him an Honorary Doctor of Civil Law. In 2001, Anglia Ruskin University awarded him an honorary Doctor of Philosophy. On May 30, 2009, at a ceremony in Ely Cathedral, the Open University made him an honorary Dean Ive. He was awarded an honorary degree by the University of Chester in 2009. In 2006 he was elected a visiting Fellow of Magdalen College, Oxford. See also, Lebanon Hostage Crisis, Iran Gate. Bibliography, Barnes, Trevor. Terry Waite, Man with a Mission. London, Collins Fontana. ISBN 0-8028-0332-6. Bell, Nee. In the Footsteps of War, Ninety Years of Remembrance. London, Bramar Entertainment. Asin B00A44ZHQE.
ISBN 978-0957090200. References.